is stagflation? How is it different from inflation? The term stagflation is coming up in a lot of discussions lately as the prices are soaring and the Russia-Ukraine war has worsened the already volatile economic situation in the United Kingdom. The fear of stagflation is looming upon Britons as they are battling with rising inflation and interest rates, surging energy bills, supply chain issues and more. But what exactly is stagflation and how is it any different from inflation? Please subscribe to the channel Sage here for Calcai Media. Let's briefly differentiate between the two and try to analyse what's in store for the UK economy. Stagflation versus inflation. Rising inflation levels in the UK have been a hot topic in recent times. Inflation is the overall rate of increase in the prices of goods and services. The UK inflation level has recently hit a 30-year high, reaching 5.5% in January 2022. According to the Bank of England, the inflation levels may cross the 7% mark next month, heavily breaching its 2% target. To offset the effect of rising inflation, inflation, the bank is going to interest rate hike. After two consecutive rate hikes in December and February, the Bank of England raised the rates on the 17th of March for the third time in a row, from 0.5% to 0.75%. The tightening of the monetary policy may help in stabilising the inflationary situation in due course. If the high inflation levels are accompanied by low economic growth and high levels of unemployment, the UK economy may go through stagnation, which brings us to the concept of stagflation. For some background, stagnation and inflation combined gives you stagflation. While inflation has its benefits, and to a certain extent it is important for the stable growth of any economy, stagflation must be avoided at all costs, as it is detrimental to the economy. When the inflation level is high, the supply of money circulating the economy also rises, which is accompanied by tough regulations that lead to a situation of stagflation. Inflation, on the other hand, can be inbuilt in the economy or can increase due to a rise in consumer demand as well as increasing costs. Is the UK headed towards stagflation? The situation of stagflation was witnessed in the 1970s and now the fear of stagflation has become apparent again as the economic growth is stabilising. But the inflation levels are skyrocketing amid the recovery phase of the pandemic. The Russia-Ukraine war is further raising the already high inflation levels, mainly due to the rising costs of energy prices. The war may have an impact on the overall GDP growth of the economy as well, which has sparked stagflation fears among the Britons. According to the latest labour market overview for the last quarter, released by the Office of National Statistics on the 15th of March, there has been a 0.2% fall in the UK unemployment rate that touched 3.9%. This was accompanied by a 0.1% hike in the economic inactivity rate, which hit 21.3%. As wages are growing and the unemployment rate is dropping, experts are anticipating the Bank of England to raise the rates further in due course. The fear of stagflation is not just there in the UK, but also in the United States. And the Fed is also raising the United States interest rates to stabilise the high inflation levels. However, it's hard to predict the trajectory of the crisis as of now. The bottom line, rising inflation and unemployment accompanied by a slump in economic growth may lead the United Kingdom towards a situation of stagflation. However, the situation is expected to remain under control with the UK government taking steps to counter the fears of stagflation. Now, if you do like this information, please let us know by liking, sharing, commenting on the video below. Subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon. You'll be notified when the recent videos come up from Kalkine. For more articles, please head to the website. It's kalkinemedia.com. I'm Sage for Kalkine Media.